since chapter 3. I want to pick up in our reading this morning at verse 5, and we'll read down to verse 11. You remember from our, our reading yesterday, Paul, in verse 1 of this chapter, he says, therefore, if you've been raised with Christ, keep seeking the things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Verse 2, he goes on to say, set your mind on things above, not on things that are on earth. <clears throat> he would go on in verse 3 to tell us, the Christian, we, we've died to that old man, and, and our lives are now hidden with Christ in God. You know, people should see Jesus in us, brethren. There, there should be no mistaking that, that we are different properly different, holy, set apart for his purposes. It should be obvious that this world is not our home. And Paul continues down this line of thinking in verse 5. Let, let, let's read it together. Colossians 3, look at verse 5. Therefore, consider the members of your earthly body as dead to immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and greed, which amounts to idolatry. For it is because of these things that the wrath of God will come upon the sons of disobedience. And in them you also once walked when you were living in them. Now you also put them, but now you also put them all aside, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and abusive speech from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, since you laid aside the old self with its evil practices, and to put on the new self, who is being renewed to a true knowledge according to the image of the one who created him. A renewal in which there's no distinction between Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave, freeman, but Christ is all and in all. Let's stop there this morning. Immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, greed, which amounts to idolatry. Brother, these things um, should not describe us, should not be associated with us. We are dead to these things. He goes on in verse 8 and tells us to put aside anger and wrath and malice, slander, abusive speech. He tells us that Christians don't lie to one another, right? You're, you're getting the picture. In our reading tomorrow, we'll talk about what should characterize us. But, but as those who have died to Christ, well, then we've got to rid our lives of these things that are associated with those whose lives are not hidden with Christ, those who set their minds and affections on the things of this earth. But brethren, I want us to appreciate that the path of, of immorality and impurity, and evil desire and greed and anger and wrath and malice and slander and abusive speech, there is an end to this path. There's an end to this way of life. Uh, verse 6 again, he says, for it's because of these things that the wrath of God will come upon the sons of disobedience. Brethren, as Paul points out in verse 7, this is who we were, not who we are. You know, verse 10, put on the new self, that new self that was raised with Christ. Brethren, we must strive to be like our Lord. And brethren, as I say often, God's way for us is better. There's no joy. There's no peace in the things that Paul brings to light here. I want you to be looking forward to tomorrow. You know, for the child of God whose life is hidden with Christ, it's not just about what we're not or what we're ridding our lives of. It's more than that. If these things are not to define us, well, what is? We'll pick up in verse 12 tomorrow. I hope you'll join me. Let's pray together. Our Father in heaven, Father, we are so thankful for your word, Father, for all that it does for us. Father, we're thankful for the warnings. We're thankful for the examples. We're, we're thankful for the reminders of your love and mercy and grace that's been lavishly bestowed on us, Father. And Father, we are so thankful for the motivation that uh, not only your love and mercy, but also the warnings of your wrath, Father, that motivate us to live for you a better way, to strive to be more and more like your son, Father. Father, we're mindful this morning of those who are hurting. Father, we especially this morning ask that you would be with our sister Jenny and that you would continue to bless her. Father, it's very difficult right now for her, as you know. And we ask you to be with our brother Donald as he has his own issues from time to time and his own health struggles. And Father, we, we just pray that you'd be with him as he cares for Jenny. Father, we recognize how, how hard it is to, to watch our, our loved ones suffer. Be with him. Be with Donald. Give him strength. Give him comfort. Be with the entire the Newman family, Father. But Father, we're also mindful of Savannah. We pray, Father, that you would continue to be with her. Bless her. Be with Sonny and Lee. Be with the entire family, David, Olivia, and Erica, all of them, Father, as they do their very best to, to care for her needs, to support one another, Father. Continue to bless this good family. But Father, we're uh, mindful of our, our, our sister Ellie. Pray that you would be with her, be with dad. 
Father, be with all of our brethren who are enduring cancer and the treatments associated with it. Father, we ask that you would continue to be with our, our brother Bill's um, son, Father, as, as he continues to recover. That you'd be with Marion. Father, we ask that you'd be with our brother Jimmy. As Father, we know that this is a very difficult time for him, and certainly for Patsy, and Pam and Dan, and, and that entire family, Father. They are such wonderful examples to us of strength and endurance and hard things. And Father, we just ask you to, to be with them as they endure another trial, Father. Bless them as you have in the past. Uh, Father, we ask that you would be with the Green family this morning, Father, as they have had no shortage of trials and, and loss in their family. As uh, Susan had a family member this, this week, yesterday, Father, uh, passed from COVID. We ask that you be with that family, Father. Ask that you be with her brother, Michael, as he continues to recover from recent surgery. Uh, bless them, and Father. They too have had their share of, of trials and just have gone through a lot over the last several months. Father, be with us today. We ask you to bless those who have lost loved ones. Father, bless us with opportunities to, to do good, to encourage one another. So thankful for the relationships we have one with another. Father, help us to love one another. Help us to be there for one another. Help us to give one another the benefit of the doubt. Father, just bless us you have in the past, it would be your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.